Thank you. Well, all 12,000 members of the Texas National Guard are now available to respond to the communities still dealing with flooding this morning. Yeah, several areas of Texas were hit by more rain overnight, as Chuck mentioned, with even more rain in the forecast today. This drone video out of Houston really gives you an idea of the flooding they're dealing with. Roads covered, the water nearly raising to the tops of trees and homes. The governor of Texas is warning people recovering from this flood that it's going to be a slow process that may take years. There is a reality that we have to come to grips with, and that is we are just beginning the process of responding to this storm. Uh, we are still involved in the search and rescue process. The governor, Greg Abbott, says staging food and water points is a top priority, followed by restoring electricity. And President Trump will see the storm damage firsthand today. Yeah, it comes as we're hearing from him about this storm. Our Matt McCutcheon is here with us in studio with that and why he's leaving his weekend open, Matt. Yeah, that's right. As we just heard from Chuck, this is a storm that just won't quit. Dramatic images continue coming in this morning right here showing this huge air rescue that took place. That man in that rescuer's arms. Thousands are now forced from their homes looking for a new place to stay. President Trump calls this flooding historic. He'll be traveling with the team, leaving about three hours from now. FEMA estimates 30,000 people will need a new place to stay as the storm slams the south. The president has been watching that and the response from D.C. And when you watch the spirit and the enthusiasm and helping each other, the teamwork, it's really been something for people to say. I think even in Finland they would say it's been pretty incredible what they've been able to do. Oh, we have noticed that, yes. Yeah, it's been really it's something. Wonderful. That's the president of Finland as the two paused from their meeting to talk about the storm. President Trump may return to Texas and Louisiana over the weekend as more damage there is expected. All right, even this morning, we're still seeing more rescues taking place there. When, once people are rescued, where are they going? There are so many shelters that have been opening up. The Houston Convention Center, just one of them. We're also learning of a furniture store that has opened up. People sleeping in the display beds there as everyone is just desperate for somewhere to go. It's incredible, though, that people are at least opening the doors and allowing these people to come in when they have no other place to go. And thank you very much.